All right, good evening and welcome to the spring band concert at the middle school. You see on stage the fifth grade band. This is their first year as a beginning band student. I'm extremely proud of them. I see them about once every six days. We meet in the classroom setting of a group setting with either brass, clarinet, saxes, or flute with the percussion. So I see them every six days. They've been doing a great job. We started in late September and I'm extremely proud of them. But I'm going to feature each of the sections this evening so you guys get an idea of what each instrument displays and how they are sounded. So first we're gonna start with my lovely trombone players. Can you stand up? Yes! So if you look at the trombone, there are no buttons or any fingers or any keys to push down. So they do all of their note changing through the slide. So one big key thing is a recruiting tool for trombone players to let them actually use the slide and let's on to all the way up. It sounds really cool. So I'm gonna let these boys do that. On three, one, two, and three. And again, on one, two, and three. Good, and sit, thank you. And then we're gonna need one more section before we play our next song, that is the trumpet section. Trumpet section, please stand up. I'm a little biased towards them because they know the trumpet honor. <laughs> trumpet is my instrument, so this is my home, and I really love teaching this group. But they're just similar to the trombone, but they actually use their mouthpiece a lot more than the trombones do. Their mouthpiece really does all of the work. They do use the, the fingers, but they actually work it all through the mouthpiece. The trumpet actually just serves as an amplifier, so I'm gonna let them buzz on the mouthpiece on three. One, two, and three. So it sounds really cool. It sounds like a dead duck in a way, and they enjoy doing it. Go ahead and get your trumpet trumpets out, please. Put your mouthpieces back in. And they're, they're going to show you, after I say on three, how to play a C, which is an open note. On three. One, two, and three. Good. And all the players. All right, so our next piece, we first heard Hot Cross Bunch is a big favorite, and a lot of students learn this, not only in the beginning band, but also learn it on the recorder. Next, you're going to hear a little folk song called Go Tell Aunt Rody. I hope you enjoy it. Please 
Our saxophones are very similar to the clarinet, but they're just larger and they play a deeper sound. You'll see they're a more goldish instrument and have actually more keys on the, on the saxophone. But they are similar, so I'm not going to show you the reed trick with them because you learned it from the clarinet section, but they are going to play a lovely G for me. Alright, on three. One, two, and three. Good. Alright, that's it. If they like the clarinets, I've been a great group to work with. I work with the clarinets and the saxes together in one classroom, and they have been flying through the book, and it's really awesome to see them every six days. Good, and we're going to move along to a song that you will know as a different title called Mary Had a Little Lamb, but in your program it will say Merrily We Roll Along. I hope you enjoy it. In my opinion, it's the best instrument to play in the profession. 
the loudest instrument, and that is the crash cymbals. Go ahead, Cole, give me a big crash. Oh, come on, give me more. Louder. I know you can do more. Give me more. That's good. All right, thank you. All right, that's our percussion section. So our last song that we're going to play for you, I actually threw this at them this morning when we came out to the high school, and I'm very privileged for administration that I get to work with every day that let us spend this morning up here in the high school auditorium practicing. It's a different environment to practice in. It's different than playing in my band room. It's different than playing in the cafeteria in elementary because the sound is just completely different. So when we came out this morning, I decided, well, let's throw them a little bit of a curveball and throw them one little song they can play and they can enjoy. So our last song will be Let's Go Band. Thank you. 